the steps from open banking to open finance I think you know are reasonably well understood now you know you have these kind of four categories of activity to, to constitute financial health you have the spending saving borrowing and planning I think that's the the US uh, it doesn't matter you've got these kind of four stages so the first one is getting people the data just to get their spending under control so that they're you know they're spending less than they're earning every week the second thing is saving helping people to put a little bit away um, and the goal of that is to help them to withstand financial shocks like you know the uber driver who who you know he has a puncture he needs a new tire he can't earn money unless he's got that tire needs better withstand shocks like that then the third part is borrowing because obviously people need to be able to take advantages of you know life events might need to buy a house or invest in a business or something like that so they have to have the credit rating to do that and then finally there's the long-term planning stuff around pensions and things and really you need the data for all of those to deliver real financial health to people rather than individual financial services 